live from Boston, Massachusetts, it's theCUBE, covering ZertoCon 2018. Brought to you by Zerto. This is theCUBE, I'm Paul Gillen. We're here at ZertoCon 2018, the final day of ZertoCon here in Boston at the Heinz Convention Center. And on the stage this morning with, with John Morenci from Gartner was my next guest, Jamie Williams, Senior Systems Engineer at Tenkata, talking about your experience with uh, Zerto. Yes, sir. And Jamie, welcome, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people haven't heard of Tenkata, although it's a very big company. Tell us what, what the company does. So we are a multinational company. Uh, we are uh, developers of uh, processes that produce one business entity, protected fabrics. Uh, we also are in artificial turf, um, also uh, advanced composites, things like the Mars lander. So Tinkata actually has material on the planet Mars right now. Um, so we're, we're multinational, diverse company based usually in textiles and textile uh, processes. Very cool. And and you are also a multi-cloud company from an IT perspective. One of the things you talked about this morning was moving to a current federation of seven different cloud providers I think you said you use. What is the strategy and the thinking behind that? So we're shifting our model right now. We call it uh, disentanglement. We're going from regional setups where we were the Amers, EMEA, and APAC. Rather than regional, we're shifting each business entity to a global so each one of those global business units, we had to disentangle, move from our current infrastructure to a new infrastructure. Uh, we, we guide them, we try and help them and tell them what would be best suited for them. But some of them went with private cloud, some of them are using public cloud, and we had to disperse that infrastructure amongst uh, whatever they so chose and help them along their journey to become a, a standalone business entity across the globe. So. That could be AWS, it could be Azure, uh, all of them are going to Office 365, but leveraging the technology that best serves the purposes of that specific business unit globally rather than regionally. And then it's your job on the back end to federate all these services. Uh, many companies are just now beginning to think about adding a second cloud to their portfolio. What advice would you give a company that's looking at mo moving to multi-cloud? Uh, very strong, knowledgeable partners that you can, you can actually become friends with and add them on speed dial on your hip. Uh, conferences like this is where you meet those people. So if you come to something here, you're going to run into somebody who's had the same struggle as you, or you can help someone who's going to have the same struggle as you along the pathway. So I think we should disseminate the information amongst ourselves in IT to help each other. It's a community of people. We've got to keep ourselves motivated and, and vital and relevant and the only way to do that is by building up these partnerships. How did you do it? How did I do it? Share that information so we don't all have to struggle through the same exact issues as we go along the journey or the path, whatever the business dictates. A lot of talk here at the conference about resilience. What does resilience mean to Tenkata? So it's gone from uh, we can do without this data for 24 hours, that's acceptable, uh, to 12 hours, that's acceptable. Now it's an always on world. Uh, it's, it's more and more uh, millennials come into the workplace too. It's, it's a given that I can do work from anywhere, anytime, any place. So you've got to be resilient in your infrastructure, in your processes to, to make those things available to them. So they're basically our customers as an IT organization saying, here are the services we're offering to you. Whether it's Office 365 or an on-prem business process, we've still got the guarantee that workers and people, colleagues, can get to these services. So resilience is always having that service on, whatever SLA that has had to be implemented in order to meet those things and make them available to the workplace. So the business flows, we're making money, we're profitable, and we're on the, the goods with the P&L. Uh, now obviously Zerto has been important to your IT strategy. Uh, talk about your use of Zerto and what value it's delivered to your organization. So we, we were an early adopter of Zerto. We weren't the first by any means, but we were an early adopter. Um, when we started our cloud strategy, we had a meeting uh, globally. Uh, CIO says we're going to the cloud, to the cloud and beyond. I called uh, Zerto, who we had implemented just for the Americas at that time, and said, What's the cloud? You know, what do you recommend for the cloud? 
uh, and they actually came at that point in time and said, well, we have some partners we're working with. One of them happens to be the data center that you're in. So they got me linked up. That was my first step into talking about discovering what is the cloud using Zerto as the reference, those partners, again, those friendships to say, utilize these guys. That's how we started our, our, our initial getting our feet wet with cloud. It was, it was private, it was more controlled, but also gave us a lot of comfort. Uh, we could go to the guys there and say, how do you do this? What happens if, you know, all of the what if scenarios are really easy and simple to answer. Uh, and it was put in front of us by Zerto. And as their product evolved, they started supporting uh, replication into Azure. Let's go to Azure then. So we started replicating to Azure. We went to Office 365. Uh, we, of course, still use those third-party, private, and Zerto partners to use uh, resources in their data centers. Um, I think I've tried about every offering that Zerto has come out with, whether it be off-site backup, 30-day journaling. Uh, if not, just to see what it is, when I find out that it works, I just keep it. Well, it's a value add every time they come out with something. Uh, you keep current, you get additional benefits, they evolve. Uh, they're agile as a company, so they can provide and support us to be agile and pass that on down the line. Uh, uh, talk about the, uh, the journaling feature that, that you mentioned. Uh, how do you put that to use? So we have all of our uh, VPGs set up for 30 days. Uh, so I've got enough storage on-prem to give up uh, to do 30-day journaling, uh, like CryptoLocker. Unfortunately, we were a uh, recipient of CryptoLocker. Uh, so with the journaling feature... CryptoLocker being a prominent form of ransomware. Absolutely. Uh, unfortunately, that's not one I like to raise my hand to, having been witness to. But with Zerto, going back into the journal, I recovered, I think it was first uh, hit 10 seconds before. Bring the environment back up. Everybody, access your files. Are you good to go? We're good to go. The end user doesn't know the technology. It's not their problem. But the, the feeling of morale, the, the, the team, the esprit de corps from being able to say, we just got hit by crypto. Let's fail back to 10 seconds before it happened and let's go back to work. Phenomenal. Uh, how, how big was the attack? Uh, so it took out a file server. Uh, so we have a DFS file server infrastructure uh, and it had rapidly worked its way all the way down through the DFS infrastructure. So we had to recover about a terabyte uh, file server, fill it back, bring it back up. Uh, I, won't, I won't say no one was the wiser, but when you say, let me reboot the server, try it now, it's back up, you know, we're, we're not calling for tapes. Uh, we're, we're getting it back up instantly. Now, ransomware, of course, is the fastest growing malware of 2017. What have you done internally since then to prevent a reoccurrence of the attack? One thing that we absolutely did is go back and review who has access to what. So where did it come in at? Where was the entry point? What can we do to remediate these things? Do specific production machines need access, we thought? It needed, but not now. We remediate those type things. You extend the use of a product like Zerto to say, okay, we thought this was relevant with this new information, and what happened to us has this scope widened. What else do we need to include that we can fall back on for journaling? Uh, and, and there's also a, a credibility hit and a morale hit to the team. Uh, so there is some PR that has to be done to the corporation, to the company, to say, we are doing something, you know, we took a valid hit, but we are going to keep your confidence and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to use and leverage a product and the knowledge that we gained and fix it and you show what you're doing to keep the, the, your confidence in you from the corporation. So it's, it's, it's not always just technical. There's PR, uh, confidence that you can do your job from the businesses. There's a lot of other things behind ransomware than simply decrypting. Hi, uh, Jamie, I understand you spent eight years in the uh, Marine Corps. Yes, sir. Uh, what, how did this prepare you for uh, a job in IT? Oh, man. Uh, always charge towards the battle. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't like to, uh, to, to my detriment, perhaps, I don't like to wait. Uh, so if something new comes out, chances are I'm going to try it uh, and ask forgiveness rather than permission. 
but I, I, I just like to get stuff done. And if I can get it done and then move on to something else and find new and interesting things to do, I'm going to play with that. If that solves a business purpose, so be it. Let's implement it. Let's move to the next one. So I, I, I like change. That's why I like IT. This job is never boring because as we speak right here, it's changing. Someone smart is thinking of something dramatic, something that's going to change and, and disrupt. Next week, I get to go home and discover that myself play with it and implement it possibly so i don't want to be sitting there dormant this is a job for me great attitude jamie williams thank you so much for joining us yes sir thank you very much jamie williams from tenkata we'll be back from zertocon 2018 i'm paul gillen this is the cube